Trollwood, it's Allegra Berglund, and I'm so excited to be a part of this video series. First of all, I love Trollwood, okay? I love Trollwood so much, and I remember being a student and alumni coming back and talking about, oh, I love Trollwood, it's so great, you don't realize it when you're in it, and I'm here to tell you that's absolutely true. Trollwood and performing at Trollwood are some of my most fond memories when it comes to performing and just growing up in Fargo. And so I would really encourage you to just soak it up and really realize what a blessing and an opportunity it is uh, to be a part of Trollwood. So I was a Trollwood student and did June Session and was in three main stage musicals. I was in Joseph, The Wiz, and Anything Goes. Uh, I then went on to college. I went to the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, uh, and got a BFA in musical theater. Um, and that was great. That was the thing to do at the time was to go get a BFA. If I had to do that over again, and I was a high school senior right now, I don't know if I would go and get a BFA. I don't know if I would go to college right away. I think I, I would move to New York and find some really great coaches, get involved in some good classes and start networking. Uh, not that you know you don't you shouldn't go get a bfa but just know that it's not required not that it ever was required um but again that's a very personal decision uh but in terms of advice what i want to talk about is how important it is to be adaptable and to be flexible life is going to throw you unexpected things and especially a career in the arts there's gonna be really high highs and really low lows. And so you need to find other things to fill up your life and to fill you up as a human being so that you're gonna be anchored in the midst of those high highs and those low lows. Um, and I think it's really hard to, you know, today with social media and looking at other people's careers and thinking, oh, that person is going show to show to show and you know, I don't have that or I don't have those successes or my life doesn't look like that. And I know it's the cliche advice, but you cannot compare your journey and your life path to other people, okay? And those people that look like they're going show to show to show, they're probably not, you know? Maybe they are, but most of us are not. Um, if you're living in New York, you're probably working two to three day jobs, um, and it's, you know, quite the grind. And so that's why I would say you really need to make sure you have other things going on in your life that are gonna remind you that who you are is different than what you do. Um, kind of along those same lines, I would also encourage you to start thinking about other interests and passions you have outside of the arts. Um, as we know, the arts can be really up and down, especially now with, you know, we're coming out of a pandemic. And so, you know, arts gigs can really come and go. And so start thinking about other ways that you could financially support yourself. Um, I like to call them co-careers where, uh, you know, you can be auditioning and, you know, keeping one foot in, in performing land and then also be doing something else. And I think you need to know it's okay. It's okay to have other passions. Um, I think I moved to New York, like blinders on, you know, 500% ready to go. But I think I realized over time, oh, like it doesn't have to be so black and white. You can find a balance, you know, in your life. And that is going to be what is going to help anchor you in the midst of those high highs and low lows that come um, with a life in the arts. Um, I think back to different experiences I've had in New York and, you know, I was called in for a dream role in a dream show. Uh, that if you had told me five years ago that was going to happen, I would have freaked out and thought, you know, oh my gosh, this is the best thing that could ever happen. Um, and then I also have had to leave a dream contract early because of an injury. It's a really high high and a really low low. But I can honestly say that how I felt about myself did not change because of those different experiences. That I can remind myself that who I am is different than what I do. Um, and so I would just really encourage you to start thinking about those other things and what is going to make you a well-rounded individual. Um, so yeah, I love talking about this stuff. And so if you uh, want to find me on Instagram or on Facebook and we can chat further, I would absolutely love that. Um, 
I'm so excited to come out to Trollwood and to see the show this summer. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos like this one. All right, bye guys.